Hey guys, here with another Android video. In this video, I want to show you guys a very awesome, cool um, launcher for Android devices named Buzz Launcher. Um, Buzz Launcher is totally free. Uh, one of the best thing about Buzz Launcher is that it's like theme based. Um, if you like to drastically change the look of your phone, dr I mean like drastically, uh, this is the app for you. This is the launcher for you. Um, right here, this is going to be the default theme when you install the, the theme launcher and you install it and make it as your default. This is going to be your default theme right here. Um, and you're going to notice some apps, every time you install an app, a theme, uh, you're going to notice some apps look like that. The reason it looks like that is because you need to have that um, app or widget available on your phone if you don't have it once you tap it it's gonna take you to the app store so you can get it but uh, when it's the first time that you have the themes installed it's gonna look like that either way even if you have it in your phone just tap on it and it tells you it uses eye in the sky city widgets can be added you click on uh, OK and once you click OK you can make any changes here that you want I already have that widget uh, on my phone so all I gotta do is click OK and automatically like you see right there automatically it's set there um, I love this app I love this launcher it, it makes the themes look very very gorgeous and one of the best features of this launcher is that it has a community it has a community where people create um, new themes and you could like them, you could share them, or you can download them and use them. And you can even download them, use them, and you could customize your the buttons and everything to your likings as well. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Um, but first of all, for example, let's go here. If you go to click here, you go to your draw, which looks pretty much um, very familiar. Um, here in the draw, you can actually change the grid size. For example, you could put it here like that. Uh, you could put it like uh, you could make a new folder inside of your um, draw as well. Oh, you can make the the apps look a lot smaller, six by six, which is gonna make a lot more apps fitting per window. Um, here, in bus setting. The bus setting is very very simple. All, uh, all you got here is gestures. You could customize gestures up or down, which is very cool. That's it. I recommend you guys to play with this. Uh, you could um, add l any kind of gesture to your phone. Um, here, backup, and, and this is a very important feature of the uh, launcher. Every time you customize or tweak one of the launchers, uh, make sure you go ahead and back it up. That way, if you want to switch to another um, theme that you downloaded, you don't lose the changes that you created. So just make sure you always create a a backup right there and here you guys set as default launcher make sure it's the checked in and uh, keep in memory make sure that's checked in and that's it like you see the, the settings is very simple the great thing here is that for example let's say you have there's an app that you don't really like for example I don't like this being my contacts there um, I could go ahead and just tap on it edit and here instead of people I go ahead and add another app there like for example one of my favorite flipboard and I could leave the uh, icon just like that if I want or I could go ahead and, and use another icon if there's one available for Flipboard which right now there isn't but if you go online and you get one uh, one app one you find a, a an image of Flipboard that you actually like to use you could go ahead and use it as well uh, right now there isn't so I'm just gonna leave that the way it is right there and now when I tap on it it will should go to Flipboard like you see right there it should go to Flipboard um, here you got your uh, text messaging. I don't like having my text messaging there, so I could you could still take your text messaging out, and you could put the email there and set there. And now I have a text my email there, which is very cool. Um, here, like you see over here, if you click over here, you get a very cool setting bar right here. You could go app to the draw. You could go to decoration, upload. You can actually upload your um, settings. Uh, you can up um, go to the home pack buzz. You could go to buzz setting, or you go to the default. This is the default system settings. Over here, if you click over here, you go to the home pack. Uh, this is home pack buzz. This is where you look and find 
for new themes available for your phone and believe me there's like new themes every single day which is awesome over here you click over here new you can see the new ones here you click in hot you can see the most famous one the hot ones which is awesome um, right here for example let's say I want to download this one I want to click that one and you can see this one how it looks looks very cool very nice not too complicated you say you don't like it you go to a new one over here and let's say you want to download this one it looks simple blah 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 and let's go ahead and say you can like it right here you can go ahead and like it of course when you create when you go to home pack buzz for the first time on your phone uh, via the settings right there or you go, via the app draw always it's gonna be right here if we click over here okay I got my if you click over here you're gonna see this very awesome looking um, um, buzz content page you can see all your home packs all the themes that you have downloaded they call it home packs instead of themes so home packs your apps and widgets your wallpapers your frequently used um, apps and your re recently installed apps as well and here this will take you back to the app store to the theme store okay that's not actually a theme store but you know what I mean and like I said here you could choose any one of them let's say I want to choose that one I'm locked in uh, I have it unlocked it I could share it I could download it if I choose to download it uh, I could either choose to apply to the home automatically when it downloads or just add it to my home to my add it to my home pack which that's what I always do that way that way if I need to save or back up my the theme that I have installed right now I don't have to do it over it um, here if I want to go back there to my home packs I can see all the home packs that I have downloaded and let's say I want to download this one and apply it let's go ahead and click, click again and apply to home and this is how it would look only two pages click installing and now it's done it's installed like you see right there it's totally installed and right here like you see just like before like I showed you guys you always gonna see that that means you need to tap it it's gonna tell you it needs a bus custom widget if you have it available it's gonna it's gonna replace it like you see right there automatically replaced it if you don't have it available it will take you to the app store so you can download it so you see right there um, here messaging same same as there uh, right now it takes you to the web page because I don't have sliding messaging pro but let's say you want to replace that with the default uh, messaging app you could just tap and hold click edit uh, instead of messaging pro I want to use go to app I want to use the default I want to I want to use a messaging app or if you use Google Voice you could use Google Voice as well use messaging app uh, leave the same the same icon that's it and now look at this now you can go and use the messaging with the app that you want um, contacts takes you to contacts phone takes you to the phone um, browser takes you to crown chrome uh, like you see very very awesome very cool um here these are folders like you see right there these are folders and in folders you could do the same thing you can uh if you want to apply a new app here to the folders all you got to do is click over here and it'll take you to the app store to the draw and that's it here in favor uh same thing here uh you got some apps that you have to download like you see right there if you click over here it'll take you to the app store so you can download it and install it or you could go ahead and just um, delete it if you want you could just go ahead and delete it and you could go ahead and let's go ahead and add my own Gamefly and Dogcatcher and IMDB and let's click OK so now I should have those in my folder right there I could go ahead and delete the ones that are not there that's it. Um, gallery like you see everything works perfectly everything work you got the draw right here which is very cool um, here you got your settings again 
and here you got games you could replace all these games with your own games um, over here there's another widget over here if you don't have it it's gonna tell you to download it if you want uh, let's go ahead and download that that looks pretty cool simple RSS widget that should do it and that's it look at that now I have everything set up over here as well eye in the sky boom, boom, and that's it now this is customized to your liking uh, like I said go go ahead to your buzz settings if you want to make sure you save that go here to uh, backup and back it up and now you have it backed up right there you always gonna see the date and everything you back when you backed up it um, another thing for example let's go ahead and switch to another let's go to here if I want to switch to another um, theme that I customized before I could just go ahead click here and click OK it will automatically install the theme and there it is um, of course always is gonna tell me this um, and that's it look at this this one is only one single page like you see right there and I got my phone I got my text I got my email I got I put flipboard there I replaced I replaced the icon over here to flipboard because there was no flipboard customized app and I put my browser there and my app draw is right here uh, very awesome looking background very cool very simple and that's only one page over here same thing you got the settings and over here you got you can go back to the theme store or whatever you want to call that and you got Facebook here you got the Play Store and you got my files and that's it that looks very awesome that looks very cool um, here let's go ahead and check another one another theme that I did that I customized uh, this one is very cool uh, just make sure every time you're gonna switch a theme make sure you backed up the theme before just so that that way you don't lose your settings and your setup and everything like for example this uh, theme right here looks very awesome very unique it looks a little bit metro style like windows 8 or something like that but if you look at it very well it does not look like windows 8 it looks very cool very all tiles uniquely done a lot of these tiles was customized by me uh, for example, not customized by me, but replaced by me. I can see here my app draw. I go for my phone calls, um, quick voice. I got Google Now now. I got the market here, and I Google Plus. Um, this by default, this was uh, Facebook right there, and I took Facebook out. I replaced. I, I searched for this icon for this wall on uh, logo and assigned. Google Plus there very awesome for example this is map this is map and if I don't want map there and I want YouTube for example and I don't have a YouTube I a logo I could go ahead here uh, YouTube logo all you gotta do is search for YouTube logo there's a bunch and bunch of YouTube logos look for the one that most grabs your attention or the one that you think that actually is gonna fit there very nice like for example this one looks very cool because it has a black background let's go ahead and tap there save image keep in mind this works on any Android phone click there now I don't want to use this map I want to replace it with the YouTube app so let's go ahead and tap on that edit here let's go to icons um, it's not gonna be here because you haven't added yet click here to add click here downloads and click here YouTube from right here you could go ahead and and if you want you could crop it a little bit just to make sure it actually fits and let's go ahead and click there okay and here we're gonna select YouTube app mm, YouTube and now we were done and look at that now we got YouTube right there click on that and now we got the YouTube app assigned there instead of the maps app that is very awesome here you got settings here you got the camera very cool and just make sure if you want to back that up make sure just since we did a change there I want to go ahead and back it up 
backup create backup now it's done uh, so now I'm gonna have two backups so one thing you could do is um, delete the other one yeah I wanna delete that one and that's it now I got the latest backup with the YouTube app instead of the maps app if you wanna change the wallpaper of any theme uh, just make sure you back it up because if you don't back it up before you change the wallpaper and you regret it and you want to go back to this wallpaper, you might not find it in your gallery. So just make sure you back it up before you change the wallpaper. And over here, in when you press and hold, you're going to see this option that says decoration. That's your that's how you customize the looking of your um theme. You could go ahead and change the wallpaper here. You could go ahead per, per screen. Or you could go ahead and appearance. You can actually uh, take the status bar out. Or you could change, get the page indicator off. But if you take the page indicator off, it will take out that very nice setting here in the bottom, which I like. Uh, you could take the dock out if you don't like having the dock. And you can see here, you can see how it looks before you even apply it, which looks very cool. And here you can turn take off the label of the apps. Right now, by default, the labels are on. I'm gonna take it off because I actually like that the apps looks a little bit bigger without the labels. So if I go back to the home screen, look at that. Now the labels, the apps look a lot bigger because they don't have the names below. But I'm telling you guys, this is a very awesome, awesome launcher. And I've been playing with it a lot, and I've been I've been searching here a lot for nice, cool themes. Uh, there's a lot of beautiful themes here. A lot of people with a lot of good um, skills for making themes, which is awesome. And like I said, if you could download this one if you like, it looks a very gorgeous one, very nice, very beautiful. And you could just replace the other apps that you don't like. Like for example, let's go ahead this one. Let's go ahead and apply it home. That way you can see how easy it is. And that's it. Like you see right there, same as before. If you don't have an app, it's going to take you to the App Store uh, to install WhatsApp. I don't want to install it right now. But like you see, you can customize this to your liking. Looks beautiful. Looks nice. Looks elegant. So guys, that's it for this video. Like I said, go ahead and try it. It's totally free. At first, every time you at first every time you go to your draw, you're gonna see like a tutorial. Every time you touch an app and hold, you're gonna see a tutorial. Just read all that. Uh, very helpful. Uh, don't be intimidated, cause um, if you don't, if you're not that good creating um, um, themes, just like me, I'm not that good creating themes. Um, you can always go to here, make sure you create an account, that way you always log in, you tap there and it takes you here automatically. Uh, you can just go here, download anybody's theme, whatever's hot, whatever's new, and just customize and tweak it to your liking, and always back up, back up, always back up, that way when you switch themes, you don't lose your, your tweaks. So guys, that was it for this app, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, it's not easy to explain every single thing in this um, launcher because I'm telling you it has lots and lots and lots of feature in it and it's unbelievably free honestly this is one of those launchers that I would totally pay five dollars or three dollars for it and if it goes up right now it's free but if it goes up believe me I will buy it so guys I hope you guys liked the video this was buzz launcher for Android devices till next time guys